keeping up with our motto that learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with the remote. Hello students. Today we are going to study Standard 9th Lesson Number 1 Distributional Maps Part 2. In the previous lecture we have studied with Distributional Map Parts 1. In that we have studied with Dot Map. Maps are not objective but a version of reality. When creating them lots of choices are made. What to map, how to map, and whether or not to use a map in the first place. Today, we are going to study with chloroplet map, the ones in which each region is filled with a color that represents a value. Let us study in detail chloroplet map. A chloroplet map is a type of thematic map, that is a theme map, in which areas are shaded or patterned in proportion to a statistical variable that represents an aggregate summary of a geographic characteristic with each area such as population density or per capita income. In the given figure, we can see the percentage of rural population is given. In chloroplet map, the data regarding various Geographical variables is shown by shades or tints of various colors. Now while making such map, the data used for different variables is obtained through the process such as measurement, surveying, etc. Now in this method, the smallest and the largest value of the given data of the variable in a region are taken into consideration. And after that, five to seven classes are made. In the given map, India population density map, we can see the different shades of colors are utilized. The shades become lighter with the decreasing value, whereas the shades become darker with the increasing value. We can see in the index, five to seven classes are made and the each class is assigned a tint of the same color of black and white pattern. In the given figure, we can see a chloroplet map where in this method only one value is given to one sub-administrative unit in a region. Now the smallest and the largest value of the given data is shown in the map and the variables are taken into consideration. We can see five to six different classes given in the index and each class is assigned a tint of the same color. Now, the shades are becoming darker with the increasing values and they are becoming lighter as the values are decreasing. In this figure, we will study with the Amravati uh, district density of population. So let us make friends with the map. In the figure, in the given figure, in index, we can see density of population that is per square kilometer. The highest value is 400 people per square kilometer, whereas the lowest is less than 100 per square kilometer. So here, we will do the map reading now. Based on the map given, name the talukas having population density between 301 and 400 people per square kilometer. Answer, the talukas having population density between 301 and 400 person per square kilometer are as follows. That is Anjangao Surji. What is the density of Amravati Taluka? The density of Amravati Taluka is more than 400 person per square kilometer. So in the index we can see the value given more than 400 per square kilometer, the shade is darker with the increasing value. Name the talukas having population density less than 300 person per square kilometer. There are number of talukas which are having population density less than 300 people per square kilometer. That is Bhatkuli, Tivsa, Nandangao, Kandeshwar, Chandur Railway, Dhamangao Railway, Chikhaldhara, Dariyapur, 
चंदूर बाजार मोर्शी वरुड एंड धरनी इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड वी हैव सेन अमरावती डिस्ट्रिक्ट डेंसिटी ऑफ पॉपुलेशन वेर कलर्स वर यूज वर द शेड्स गिवन इन दिस फिगर वी कैन सी क्लोरोप्लेट मैप वेर ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट पैटर्न इज यूज इन क्लोरोप्लेट मेथड अ सिंगल टिंट ऑफ द सेम कलर और अ सिंगल ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट पैटर्न इज यूज to show distribution of a particular variable in sub administrative unit in a region we can see in the figure the pattern is becoming darker as the values are increasing whereas the pattern becomes lighter where the values are decreasing so where the values are increasing the pattern becomes dense that we can see in the figure this is one more example of chloroplet map where we see the shades are utilized of black and white pattern let us do the map reading students based on this index it becomes very easy to do the map reading first in which direction is the density of population decreasing answer the density of population decreasing in north and south direction second Name the talukas with population density less than 200. Here it is Shaowadi, Kagan Bawda, Achra, Chandgarh. Name the talukas having population density between 200 and 400. It is Radha Nagri and Budargarh. Name the talukas with population density more than 400. we can see a mat like structure given in the figure where the population is shown more than 400 and the places here are shirol karver kadilganj panhala which method is used in preparing this map of course it is chloroplet method which is used in preparing this map what are the advantages of chloroplet map first visually effective can see a large amount of information and general patterns grouping can be flexible to accommodate the spread of values levels of shading color represent a range of values students we have studied with two different types of distributional maps first the dot map which we can see in the figure and the second chloroplet maps for the next lecture we will continue with isoplate method thank you thank you